Hey guys, so today I'll be talking about pronouns and what pronouns are are nouns that take the place of other nouns. Um, to make that, to explain that a little better, if I were describing this marker for instance, um, I could say this marker is from Expo and then if I wanted to say a couple of other characteristics, I wouldn't want to keep repeating the words this marker. So instead of saying this marker is from Expo, this marker is dry erase, this marker is red, this marker is blank, 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 um, I'll say, oh, this marker is from Expo, and then I'll say it is red. So the it is a pronoun. Um, so the subject pronouns, which is what I'll be covering today in French, um, correspond to the English subject pronouns, of course. They would be... Je, tu, il, elle, un, nous, vous, and in the plural forms of il and l. Um, so in English, je would be I. Tu would be you, il is he or it, I'll explain that um, a little later, l is she or it, on is we as a people, so you would use on for example, um, if you were talking about people in general, you know, people like to eat, you would say on M manger. Um, you could also use nous, which is we. Oui. Vous is you all or you guys. Um, il is they, and L is also they. So the difference between um, il from he and it just depends on whether you're talking about a person or an object. Um, a person obviously would be he in English and an object, um, if you'll recall that m everything in French has a gender whether that be feminine or masculine and um, if that object that you're talking about happens to be um, masculine, then you'll say il. If that, if your object is feminine, it'll be l. Um, same thing here with il plural and l plural. Notice that these are pronounced the same: il, il, l, l. Um, for il, it could be a group of guys, a group of um, girls and guys, or even a group of girls with just one guy. They're all il. <coughs> Um, you could also be talking about a bunch of things that are a bunch of nouns that are masculine. And then for L, you would have either a bunch of girls or a bunch of objects that um, are feminine. And those are all of your subject pronouns.